So I got my Mini 3 Pro early. I saw that there was some available on launch day from a, a high street retailer here in the UK so I cancelled my order from DJI and my friend Mo was kind enough to pick it up for me from London. Anyway, let's go straight into some test shots and then we'll talk. So I went down to the Brent Reservoir on Sunday as it was such a beautiful day and I thought what better place to do my first flight with the Mini 3 than where I did my first flight with my first ever drone, the Mavic Pro. A tip for anyone with a new drone, make sure you set it up, you download any new firmware and get all the registration malarkey out of the way at home before you head out to fly. I got a bit overexcited and I had to wait over 20 minutes updating the firmware with my sketchy 5G, watching the sun sink beyond the trees and praying it would be done on time. Thankfully, all the updates were done with just enough time left for me to put it in the air and uh, get some quick shots. So the first thing I noticed, even before I got it up in the air, was how nice the screen is on the new RC. It's 700 nits, so not as bright as the RC Pro, which has 1000 nits, which is expected, but it is plenty bright enough, and ergonomically as well, it was so nice to handle with the button spacing and placement really well thought out, in my opinion. My thumbs were just below the joysticks, ready to fly, my index fingers were resting on the dials for the gimbal on the left and the zoom on the right, and my middle fingers were perfectly placed for the C1 and C2 custom buttons. There was also just enough space to rest my palms on the edge of the remote and not obscure the screen. I did notice that the sticks were a lot more looser than on my RCN1, the remote that comes with the standard kit of the Mini 2, although it didn't take me long to get used to it. Now the flight of the Mini 3 Pro was as smooth as, as expected and the quality, well, you can see for yourself. I'm really happy that they decided to put the center light in there and have also now upped the color depth from 8-bit to 10-bit with a firmware update, which in theory will give us more room to maneuver in the edit, but I'll do another video on that once I get a chance. I do think that the picture is a little too sharp, so I really hope they give us the ability to dial in the sharpness and the saturation etc through a firmware update soon, but otherwise I'm very happy with the quality. I also took a couple of photos with it, but I forgot to change the setting to JPEG and RAW, so these are untouched images right out of the camera. I do like the vibrancy, but I prefer to edit my own photos myself, and RAW files give you the extra bit of details, not unlike the decenter like profile for video, so when it comes to the edit, you have more control of how the image turns out. So what do you think? Are you planning to get one? Let me know in the comments, and uh, and uh, I'll be doing a footage comparison with the Mini 2 in my next video, so make sure to subscribe to get notified when that one's up. As always, please click the like button if you enjoyed this video or found any value in it, and come say hello in the comments, it really helps our small channels out. Until next time, stay safe and stay creative.